as gunslingers square off outside. Inside the Mammoth Steakhouse and Saloon in Apache Junction, Arizona, another showdown is taking place. OK, Dad, let me help you. I, I can do it. OK. Your sister's a doctor, and your brother runs a big business, and you can't even handle the simplest job in the world. I pay you damn good money to help me. And what for? You're completely worthless. I'm just trying to help, Dad. What would help me is if you weren't so stupid. He's not only an abusive boss, he's also her father. And he seems to be making it his job to make his daughter miserable. If you saw a father relentlessly browbeating his overwhelmed daughter and caregiver, what would you do? I'm so sorry, Dad. You probably didn't pick up my pills, did you? Ah, useless. As father and daughter, face off. This group has a front row seat to the one-sided scuffle. Why would you bring me to a place like this? Because I thought it would be fun. Sometimes you are such an idiot. You know, I'm paying you good money, and you do crappy work. Crappy, crappy work. You're a loser. Dad, come on. You always have been. Bob continues his vicious verbal attack. And this table has some choice words of their own. This guy's an old That's what he is. I go with your brother and sister, I have a good time. And I don't have to pay them anything. And That's they're because very... they don't take care of you, Dad. Well, I pay you for that, but you do a lousy job. Then this diner makes it his job to join the conversation. Yes, sir. Oh my God. What's the problem? Your, your mouth is your problem. This is personal between me and my daughter. Okay, so, so take it somewhere else. You're, you're in a public place here. Okay? Say the public place. You're an abusive old That's not that's not nice. That's not nice. Listen to your mouth the last ten minutes. Wow, he's angry. Angela steps away. Don't you have daughters? Don't even talk to them. They're done talking to him. You can have an appetizer. But they're more than happy to talk to us. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Quinones. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, my God. How are you doing? Hi, great job. They're actors. Oh. <laughs> now you get it. Now I, I get know. it. What were you thinking? It really upset me to hear that in a public place. Because I saw someone being abused who looked very helpless, and uh, I was thinking that she would need uh, quite a few years of therapy to get her head uh, on straight. Not back on straight. It probably never was if that was his daughter, because I would assume that abuse had gone on for many years, her whole yeah. life. All right, you know, I can't even look at you anymore. I'm, I'm, I gotta go to the, I'm going to the men's room. No, no. This woman's no, no, no. sympathy for Angela is born of personal experience. Sorry. Yeah. She gets meaner, she gets older. Yeah. Nothing is right ever. Sometimes I just want to give up. Yeah, oh, totally. I, I've been there. Because I was helping her out and stuff. It was just hard, you know. Everything I did was wrong. Everything. I could just cross the street. It would have been the wrong way. Or on the wrong side. Or. So I totally feel for you guys. Does it get better? No, it doesn't get better because they continue to progress, but I kind of learned to ignore it. You know, I kind of just turned it off. We're rolling again. You're just an idiot and a loser. I'm tired of this crap. When Dad's hurtful words sent Angela fleeing from the table... I'm going to go to the bathroom. This woman cuts her off at the pass, hoping Angela will follow her to an area away from badgering Bob. Where'd you came? I'm give you a hug. It's your heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tough stuff. OK. Is that your dad? <laughs> yeah. I've got a mom with dementia. We go through some of that. They're hidden from our cameras, but nothing can hide the compassion this customer shows to Angela. I don't know what to do. I feel kind of trapped. You need to tell the doctor about it, OK? Thank you. Because that'll, that'll really get you dead. Thank you. My mother lived with us for two years. Eventually, we had to decide to put her in an assisted living. And it was very hard. But we got to the point we could not live a normal life. It takes a lot of patience, yeah, but it's because you love them.
back inside, this woman decides the person needing care is Angela. Are you okay? Yeah, Are you I just heard. Yeah, I just you don't have to take things like that. Like you can get up and leave. You can sit with us. You can. You don't have to. You're, you're worth more than that. Well, what do I do with my father? Let him take care of himself. If he doesn't want your help and he doesn't treat you right, then he doesn't deserve your help. If you're ready to get up and leave, just get up and leave. If you need anything, all right, Bob? You are. Boy, it touched you. It did, very much so. <laughs> what was going through your mind? Nobody deserves to be treated like that for any reason. Not if it's family, not if it's a stranger. I would hope that somebody would do the same thing for me if I was in a bad place. We're rolling one last time. You're my daughter, but you're also my employee. I pay you a lot of money to take care of me, and you're doing a crappy job. Hey. Really crappy. I'm sorry. You feel that sorry. way. Sorry. I'm just glad that your brother and sister aren't losers like you are. This 23-year-old is clearly upset by dad's comments, but will he be willing to speak up to the much older man? Your sister's a doctor, you know that. I know, Dad. Your brother, your brother runs a big business. Dad, I know. You're not married, you have no kids, nothing. And with that, he's heard enough. Hey, um, I don't mean to butt in, but it's not the time and place for us. She's doing what she can. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to butt in, but that's just, that's just no, they can't talk to her like that, I'm sorry. Then the boy's father gets involved too. This is our business, this is right. I but you made it our business by sitting next sitting to me. Sitting next to us, it's not her fault. Okay. She's doing all right, what she All right, can. okay, okay, I hear you, I hear you. I'm sorry, Thank I just, you. I can't Thank say so much. much. That's just, I can't do that. It's okay. She's an employee of mine as well as and, my and daughter. If it's your daughter, it's your daughter, though, sir. And, and if you have a problem, let's don't air it out here. Let's don't put her in a bad spot. If you got something going on because you're angry, that's okay. I'm sure we all go through it. Just enjoy your meal. Enjoy yeah. being out there. Have a good time. Thank you. God bless. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I, 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 Do you want some help, Dad? No, no, I don't need any help. OK. We send Bob away. Thank you so much for speaking up for me. I appreciate it. You're doing everything you can. You handle it very well. Thank you. <laughs> but just, yeah, just go with it, and you'll be fine. Time to talk to father and son. Hi, guys. How are you? My name is John Quinones. They were actors. Oh, were they? No way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. What was going through your head? I your... just couldn't. I couldn't sit here and watch that. That's just. That's my dad. And if, if, if I just. That's family. You don't put family down. It's. It's just one thing you don't do. They're always there for you. You're always. No matter what you do, your family has your back. If if not, then, then who else do you have? 